Well, welcome back to another episode of the Mini Machine Shop. I'm Dave. I watched on YouTube a video of a guy that put a DRO on the tailstock, putting it in here so you can tell. And he did it with a caliper. And I'd love to do that. I started looking at it, trying to figure out, well, the caliper is really long, and it's got that extension piece to it. This guy that pokes out. So, he didn't really show what he did. He just said, you know, he bought this really cheap caliper. Okay, I can go to Harbor Freight and get one, and you know, 12 bucks or whatever they are. We've also got them on Amazon. Uh, but they're all stainless steel, and so what? You have to cut this shorter, because you can only have about six inches, right? Yeah, six inches tops, a little bit shorter than that. It has to be. You got to get rid of the whole head. You got to get rid of this piece. So I want to do it, but I haven't been able to figure out exactly how to do it yet. So that's um, that's a project in the future. Just thinking about it. Uh, what else have I got? All right. In this video towards the end, uh, I'm going to show a keychain repair. My wife's keychain broke and she had it forever and so she was begging you know please do something to fix it because you can't get another one um, also there's a portion in here where I'm going to show a collet set because everybody saw that I got the ER32 collet chuck um, for the lathe, mini lathe and I loved it so much that um, when I was doing some other projects on it with the ER32 there were quite a few times where I needed the three drawback on it because it was going to hold an oddball size. So I'll show a little section in here on a find on e yeah, eBay. Yeah, it was eBay. Um, where I bought an entire collet set. So, and I've also just ordered a couple of days ago um, the metric collet set. So now I can hold just about any size there is. Um, the other thing is, since I liked it so much, and somebody was making a comment on the uh, mini mill that I'm using the chuck to hold all the cutters and stuff like that. You shouldn't be doing it because it ruins the chuck. And there was also a problem where I was always getting chips off the of the chuck and it was throwing things off when you tried to clamp because it was getting underneath the fingers or whatever between the body and the fingers. So I was getting run out and constantly having to clean the chuck, tear it apart. So I went on Amazon, let me bring the camera around and show a little bit here. Alright, there is the mini mill. And I already pulled the chuck out of it. So you can see, but when I went on Amazon, I did find, and I was surprised, I found an ER32 chuck. And the nice thing about it was, you know, yeah, again, I'm excited, I like it. I've got all the chucks, uh, collet chucks, collets, to fit just about any size, but with the cutters, it's all standard, half inch, three eighth inch, all that, so I'll only use a few of them, but I was shocked, and this, this came directly out of China, and I saw when they shipped it, too, it <laughs> took four days for it to get here from China, it came in yesterday, but it's from, uh, what's the name of it here? There we go. I'm over here on the computer looking at Amazon. There it is. I need my glasses. This is it's a Shallow Man S H A L U O M A N uh, ER32, and it's got the MT3 taper on it, and it's also a 12 millimeter, which uh, for a 12 millimeter draw bar, which is the same thing as the Chuck. So it fits right in there beautifully. And it is well machined too, I love it. It's just as clean as the other one that I bought for the uh, mini light. And it goes in the same distance. I would have thought though, I would have gotten more, um, what, it's gonna go in about like that. So I'm getting about two more inches worth of vertical space here to work with. 
I don't know what the run out is on it. I hope it's like Zippo. But that's kind of one thing that I'm really interested in doing because now, if this has got zero run out, all my tools are going to be zero run out. And I'm real curious here to do some finishes and to see what happens. And also with all the collet sets, I can use it for um, drilling. I can put the drill bits in there and they should all have zero run out on them. So I'm wondering if the holes are going to be even nicer. So um, that's about it. And I guess I'll conclude this by showing the other clips that I just mentioned. In the next video, I'll show a run out and some cuts and show you kind of what's happening. All right, see you. All right, just kind of a quick little project here, guys. Um, my wife has had this keychain forever, and she, the spring that was inside broke. It uh, goes together like that. They had a or wrong piece. They had a rivet running through there. All I did was just take a drill, drill it down enough till it was real thin. Take a center punch, hammer it out. That allowed me to see the spring that was inside here. You can see the piece right there is what's broken off so so I machined a new pin I'm not really done with it yet so I gotta clean this up and round it out but it fits right where where's the other piece oh this piece fits right through there I use the gauge pins to figure what's the best size for the hole and it turned out to be 170 thousandths and it fits in there real nice and smooth drilled this out because what I'm gonna do is I didn't drill deep enough so that when I spread it, it was going to bind it. So it's up. The bottom of the hole is up just a little bit higher so that when I flatten this out, it's not going to be binding it. And out of my spring collection, just bent a little piece of it. You can see it's just sitting in the groove there. So I still just have to finish it, cut it down a little bit, bend it out so it catches down in here. Stick it together. Well, I'm going to buff it up first. I started buffing this piece. Ugh. Yeah, I need to do quite a bit more buffing here. I think I'm going to have to use the Dremel tool to get into the tight gaps. But So that's the project to fix it. And I guess I'll show you the end result when I'm done. Alright, there it is guys. Spring is in there. All bent. I had a really ugly machining. Put a crease in this. They had drilled a hole intending to flare it out, but I had a hard time trying to flare it. So I just wound up hammering it and flattening it out. And then when I was done, I was realizing, you know, I should have just drilled in here and tapped it and then put a screw here. And that would have been nice and clean, but oh well. It's done and the wife will be happy. Alright, here's the ad off of eBay. Hundred and ten dollars, sixteen one sixteenth to three quarter, going all the way up in thirty seconds, and here's the whole set. And so far, they look high quality, so I would endorse it. Uh, I can take one out here. They're just as shiny and well, there it is. <laughs> just as shiny and nice as um, <laughs> the other set that I got. So now I should be able to hold absolutely anything in the lathe. All right.